Now we are going to talk about the purchasing life cycle. I'm going to open this coffee shop and right next to it I'm going to have a factory. I use this to make and store goods. I need this to run my coffee shop. I need some simple stuff like coffee beans, flour, sugar and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a vendor who can deliver this stuff for me. So I'm going to go to Google, find out who the nearest vendor is, say call him ABC Goods or ABC Foods. And I'm going to call him over the phone and say, I need flour, say 100 pounds. I need sugar, say 50 pounds. And I need coffee beans, say 20 pounds to start with. So this vendor is going to take some time to deliver the goods. Say in five days, he's going to deliver the goods. He's going to deliver flour, sugar and coffee beans in the respective quantities. And somebody in the stores is going to receive them. store it somewhere in the location. A couple of days later, he sends us a request. And that request is for payment. It's going to say, okay, bill number 23205 just some number and it's going to say flower 100 pounds and say 1 pound costs a dollar so that's dollar 100 and sugar is 50 pounds and 1 pound costs say 2 dollars so that's 100 dollars and coffee beans is 20 pounds and each pound say costs four dollars it's going to be 80. so this is at the rate of one dollar per pound this is at the rate of uh, two dollar per pound and this is at the rate of four dollar per pound right and the total here is going to be 280 and say there's a tax of 10 percent sales tax that's going to be 28 and the total is going to be 308 dollars that's what we should be paying this vendor Again, this comes as a paper invoice or an email and it comes to my address and that's a request for payment. So I have some time to clear this invoice. As soon as it's sent, say this is sent on Jan 5th, this was sent on say January 1st. This came in on January 5th and say this came on January 6th. Now, I have some time to pay this invoice. I don't need to pay it immediately. So I have some time. I take my time and maybe on Jan, say 25th, I pay this invoice 
So what we are doing is basically sending a check or cash for dollar three hundred and eight. So let's see what's happening here. So there are four steps that happen here. First step is called, this step here is called purchase order. The second step is called goods receipt. because you are receiving the goods into the warehouse. The third step is called invoice receipt. You receive the goods and now you receive the invoice. The final step is payment. Step number one, two, three and four. This is the basic life cycle of a purchase order. There is a purchase order that goes out to the vendor, the vendor sends the goods, the vendor also sends the invoice and we pay the vendor.